good evening welcome to our SPSS class number six and I'm your facilitator writing comma in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how you can deal with open-ended questions an example is question six you know the data set that we have here most of these variables are qualitative in nature but there's also this thing that I can make precisely call pure qualitative. You ask someone, what's the role of student in the fight against HIV AIDS? Definitely, you, you are expecting narrations. So how can you handle, how can you analyze such questions and when answers comes in narration format? So the following is what you do. You actually click on analyze or you can click on this button recent used dialogues because i've used analyze analyzed most of, uh, of um most of times so i'll click on frequencies then i can just take out these variables back this side and let me see let me try to look at uh, question six question six is what law should the students spend the fight against hiv aids i'll analyze this this is a table that has come. A very nice table for that matter. I'll look at abstinence 20%, awareness campaigns 25%, preaching zero, sexual intercourse 15%, sanitization, sensitization 35%, taking responsibilities 5%. But something that I've realized is that there are actually some responses that are similar here what do i do i'll copy these things to microsoft excel so that i can now actually code these things properly i'll paste them i'll start with the first response which is i'll just copy this is what we call thematic analysis you actually bundle the things that are similar and put them together this is thematic analysis so I'll put frequency, I'll put percent, abstinence, I mean said abstinence, there are eight. So I'll start checking, is there anything which is similar to abstinence among the responses that I have? Taking responsibility is not abstinence okay so just abstinence then i'll move on the next there uh, awareness campaigns i can see awareness campaigns awareness campaigns preaching zero sexual intercourse like you can see from there sensitization these are one and the same thing so I decide to say okay fine for me i am going to use sensitization as a keyword so I'll count. I've got 14 who said sensitization plus 6 who said, who said preaching zero sexual intercourse. So this gives me 20 plus those who said awareness campaigns. So which gives me 30. So when I highlight, I can see that this is the 30 there. So I've got 30. Then the last one is Jesse responsibility so i'll just say responsibility responsibility i'm just trying to bundle those th those responses that are similar so this is a two there then i've got a total here of a 40. so i want to find the percentages i'll just say equals eight divided by 14 multiply by 100 or uh, divided by 40 multiplied by 100 it will give me the percentages there i can do them one by one but there's always a way that i can just enter the formula once then it will give me but in this scenario i will do these things manually i'll copy these things and paste these things as numbers so that 
I just get rid of the formulas. Then I know this this is actually adding up to 100%. Now is 75%. So I can decide what I want to come up with whether is to come up with a bar chart is to come up with a pie chart is to come up with a table so i would say i want to come up with a bar chart so the total is not supposed to be included if i'm to come up with a bar chart so i would read these things i'll just remain with this information there so i'll highlight click on insert then with the version of the microsoft data i'm using there's also this option which is recommended charts once I click on it, it actually give me, you know, the recommended charts. I can go for this one. So this one is not looking that good. So I can say, okay, fine. I'll just use, I'll just you now produce a pie chart. Wow, that's a pie chart. As usual, I'll put this, then I'll get rid of that. Um, so you see, I've always discouraged you that don't use this, so I don't want to use that. I can make it even better. I just want to do it like that. Then of course I can increase the font size of this so that these things becomes visible these things becomes visible I can also increase the font size of these things so that even those becomes very visible I'll get this this is actually what role should students play in the fight against HIV AIDS so I'll go there Sorry, not in this one. So it's supposed to be this one. So this, in fact, is question six. So question six is supposed to come here, which is now four point two point two students pro in fighting HIV. So I can paste that thing there. Then this will now change to 4.3. Then this will change to 4.4. .4. Then this will change to 4.5 so this is how you can actually convert narrations into something that you can actually come up with percentages for example if someone said that students should actually practice abstinence then someone said that students should uh, conduct sensitization campaigns then other people says students should actually take responsibility i can just pick keywords and count how many people talked about abstinence how many people talked about sensitization how many people talked about responsibility and it gives me this table but keep a tab on this one when we begin to do the interpretation because this one was a narration i'll actually come and further explain how you can combine both this and also the narration uh, the narrations format Thank you so much for watching this video on well, how you can actually deal with qualitative uh, questions or open-ended questions. I am your facilitator, Brighting Coma. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.